Hello, this is Ron here to talk about the new DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, I've put, posted a couple videos up already. I've got a, you know, unboxing and first flight and, uh, you know, a couple other ones. But uh, I decided to uh, try out the um, advanced editing features of the Mavic Air 2. Uh, I hope you're aware that it has a... Um, it, a flat profile. It doesn't have a log profile like the Mavic Air, I mean like the Mavic Pro 2 series does, but it has uh, the Decidin-like uh, flat profile, which, uh, you know, is it, not as flat as a, a, a D-log, but um, it's uh, flat enough. It makes it easy to edit and uh, color correct. It was a very popular um, color profile that I think first appeared on the Mavic uh, Pro 1 and it's on several other DJI devices since then but uh, it, it was not on the Mavic um, Mavic 2 Pro uh, series of drones so um, it, it's back here for, for the uh, the air and I've always liked color correcting in it so um, what I did is I went out Saturday night last Saturday night on a kind of a you know, it was a nice day, but the clouds were rolling in uh, around sunset, but they were the kind of clouds that, uh, you know, they were broken. So you got a lot of sun peeking through. So it made for some interesting contrast and color. So uh, what I did is the, the first part, the first three clips I, I shot in Decinolite, the, I, I can't even say it, Decinolite. And um, I went into Final Cut Pro and um, you know, I, I you know, I, I edited. I used the color wheels to, to get it to like a nice, uh, you know, to get the, the base uh, color and contrast and highlights and mid tones all, all kind of looking good. And then I added a couple LUTs to it to really make it pop. So I kind of maybe overdid it. Maybe it's a little bit too, you know, too poppy here. But uh, you know, uh, I just wanted to show you how far you could, you know, you could stretch it here. So and then. In the next section, I I did um, I just shot with the uh, built-in HDR feature that kind of compare, um, you know, what you can do yourself by you know using an editing program like Final Cut Pro versus uh, the built the baked-in HDR look. And I did in the evening HDR clips, I did push it around some some clips. You know, I got the color wheels and I kind of like tried to bounce out a little bit of my own. And some of the other clips are, you know, uh, just, just straight out HDR. And I will, you know, specify, you know, which is which as you're watching the video. So um, go ahead and watch the first section uh, with, um, you know, the, the sitting like uh, color profile and my corrections. And then we'll, we'll pop back in and discuss what's going to happen with the HDR clip. So, um, you know, uh, sit back, uh, get your popcorn and soda and, uh, you know, get ready for this next clip. Be back. we be right back. All right. I hope you enjoyed those um, those clips with the um, you know when I did the uh, editing of the decent light color profile. So the next four clips were taken in uh, 4K um, HDR, and and I don't think I mentioned it, but in, in those uh, the other clips you just saw, they were all um, 4, 4K 30 also. So these are uh, 4K 30 HDR clips, the next four. And the first three, I actually went into Final Cut and I um, adjusted uh, the, you know, the, the basics, like the highlights, um, the uh, lighting and the uh, mid-tones with the color wheels, uh, but no LUTs or anything were applied. And the final clip, clip four, I did nothing to it. It's looks like just straight off the um, memory card. So you can kind of compare what that looks like versus 
my, uh, you know, my, my, I'm going to call it my kind of light-handed uh, color correction. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to bias you too much, but um, I, I thought the colors in the skies did not look natural with the, um, with the HDR effect. And, of course, my editing probably makes them even less unnatural. But look at the, you know, pay close attention to the clip for even without any, any correction at all. The, the, the colors in the sky just did not look uh, natural, um, you know, um, as compared to um, an unedited uh, a clip. So uh, just, you know, watch very closely and, um, you know, sit back, enjoy, and uh, we'll be back after these clips run. All right. All right, I have uh, nine more clips uh, coming up here, and I'm just going to put like a graphic down below, you know, what the clip is and if it's edited, not edited, and, uh, you know, so you kind of have an idea of, of you know, what, what unedited clips look like and which ones that uh, I go in and adjust the color wheels in uh, Final Cut Pro uh, look like. So, uh, you know, just kind of give you a base, a reference, or whatever. And, uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, comparing, uh, you know, edited decent like uh, footage versus, uh, you know, the 4K th uh, 30 HDR, um, you know, uh, uh, footage uh, basically raw off the memory card and also, you know, edited by me. So um, it kind of gives you an idea of, of how flexible uh, these, these files are and what you can do with them in post, and which is to me as important, you know, everybody wants to see the unedited video, but uh, sometimes some, some uh, video can be, you know, stretched and pulled further to get more dynamic range out of it and uh, others can't. So I think that's just as important to see in uh, unedited video at some time, but you will see a lot of unedited video in the course of uh, this, uh, you know, this video. So uh, if that's what you want to see, you'll see it, but you also will see edited footage. So um, again, thanks for, uh, you know, joining me uh, on this video and, uh, you know, please like and subscribe and, and all that stuff and ring the bell. And I uh, hope you enjoy, you know, the, the last nine clips here and, you know, leave the feedback below, you know, what you thought of it, what you think of the Mavic Air 2 in general and, uh, you know, and you know how the footage edits so, yeah, just any, any thoughts you have is just leave them down below and uh, you know I'll try to respond and if you have any requests for things you want to see in future videos let me know and uh, I will address that so uh, thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.